Hello and welcome to English for Dirty Foreigners. Lesson 3. Table Manners. In Britain it is of the utmost importance that you behave yourself properly when eating. To demonstrate this, we have enlisted the help of Johnny Foreigner. Hello, Johnny! Hello! I'm your host, Loomis Red Light, Green Light Go, and welcome to the third and final of this still very relevant and much watched quiz show. Oxford Circus, Franklin Roosevelt, and Paradigm Rhythm Method. Only two can go through to the semi finals, so without further ado, let's begin. Activate Robentor. Robentor activating, initiating invisibility mode. This is probably what you're used to in your house. Hovel, squat, or cardboard box. But in British society, it just won't do! To rectify this, we are going to employ the patented English and muffled dwarf technique. Observe. Let loose the Question Sparrow! The first question in this third and final is, what letter is behind the curtain? Oxford, we start with you. What letter is behind the curtain? Is it a letter from the Queen? And so, proper table manners are achieved. Robo Appendix 1C Assonance. Of all the linguistic techniques in all the languages, you had to walk into mine. The concept of assonance is by far the most complex, illogical, parathetical, and erotic of all. Assonance is, to be straightforward, direct, and perfectly clear, the science of words not only acting as descriptive, understated anthropomorphic tadpoles in the great river of life that travels downstream and joins the sea of pure communication, but it is also the wistful, blissful ignorance one has when they, for the first time, discover the joys of a true harmonic resonance with the gravitational pull of the English language. There are a number of table manners and associated words that you may find useful. I cut with my knife. Knife. Franklin. What letter do you think is behind the curtain? H. And our final contestant, Paradigm. What letter is behind the curtain? <laughs> 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 
<clears throat> Paradigm rhythm method thinks the letter two is behind the curtain. Eat with my fork. Usually it starts out slowly. A certain piece of punctuation catches their eye. Then a vowel, a consonant, then a syllable, a modifier. And then, then a verb, a noun, an adverb, an adjective, and it spirals out of control. It's an idiom, a sentence, a paragraph, and before you know it, they're making love to a pamphlet, a novella, a collection of short stories, a novel, an entire collection of encyclopedias. And then you find yourself banned from libraries for the rest of your life. Some say it's wrong to love the English language, but as a true red-blooded Brit, it's hard not to. I dare you! I dare you not to love the language! Try it. As intrinsic as food is to the British culture, so is the toilet as importational. Are you having the sex? Not using protection? Worried about pregnancy? Then you need impotence! Featuring our secret patent pending formula. Impotence for not kids! Impotence is not recommended for those considering having a baby. Impotence is not guaranteed and is not associated with any medical practitioners anywhere. Apart from this guy. Bukas! Puta kamalina ka! Puta te mala kerga! Mala kerga! Putas! Putas! Edukhan madari mala budu! Puz te ke pute puka de dolo! Don't be shy! Say hello! Oh my! Puke! Oh! Puka puka de re re! Puka te la mala re! Please reveal the letter. It's the letter two. Points to paradise. <laughs> I'm sure as foreigners you are used to sleeping in close quarters with 50 to 60 of you sharing a bed. Now you should count yourself lucky. You get a bed all to yourself. Work well, and you may even get a mattress. Robanto, deactivate invisibility mode. Roberto, stop that! Here are the basics of the British toilet system. Urinate here. Defecate here. And always, always remember to pull the chain. <laughs> 
See you next time.